how's how's life? Life. Uh, life in general is okay. Life is good. That's good. First of all, I want to give you your flowers. So I want to appreciate you for helping on the life with me. I've been, you know, doing live stuff on Instagram for a long time now. You've been showing me love. You've been coming, showing your sneakers. Anybody that follow Real Soul Info on Instagram should already, you know, get familiar with you because, you know, you 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 be you be posting pictures. You be tagging me. You be showing your shoes whenever I have a life. You be helping on. So I was like. We'll be doing this on Instagram, you know. How about let's, let us get monetized, right? And let us share people's stories. So I was like, I'm going to set up the podcast. So I'll let you do the intro, let people know you, your name, you know. We'll start from there. And any question I have along, any how the conversation is going to, you know, go then. Because I don't have any paper with me. Everything is just vibe. Like, it's just talking about, you know, sneakers. All right. So, uh, um, my real name is Kevin, and uh, <laughs> I've actually been in the sneaker game for quite some time now. And, uh, How many years? I would say since 2014, actually. But I wasn't, I wasn't doing it, uh, you know, like the way I am doing it right now. You know, like so, you were not like a collector. You just like sneakers. I just, I really love sneakers, you know, fashion in general. Cool. And uh, any opportunity I got, you know, any money, I always, you know, run to the next uh, shop where I see any sneaker, you know. And I was always, I was always trying to like follow up uh, whatever was trending. But although I'm not, I'm not going to lie, back then it was all fake, you know. So, but... Uh, I think everybody have been through that channel. Everybody have been there, you know. It, it's because... I can't judge you because let's is international now. I have someone from UK, I have someone from Germany, I have someone from Russia, uh, England, Europe, you know, just around the world is a world thing now, and that's the power of sneakers. So me coming from Niger Lagos, Nigeria, you understand? I can I can understand some you know other people when they be like, okay. I started with fake and all that. You know, people elsewhere can't understand. Yeah. Because yeah, in America, now I mean I'm currently in America, they have access to retail. To date, Nigeria still they still don't have access to retail like that. Like basically everything is like re, uh aftermarket, you know, the, it's pretty hard. So the truth is I, I didn't I didn't have uh, access to real pairs until I moved to Abuja back then. You know, and uh, now you say you've been collecting since 2014. If I'm not mistaken, that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. You've been collecting, you've been, you, you've liked sneakers for nine years. And yeah, now, that is correct. How many pairs do you get? Uh, honestly, I, I do lose count because uh, sometimes um, I still got, I, I don't, I don't know if I, uh, I, I can actually switch my camera and show you. I still got some shoes in the boxes, so I really don't know, honestly. Because me personally, I know you are eye beast. <laughs> I know, yeah, you like eye I, I, really, I really don't know. I really don't know. You, you are eye beast. Like anything that stand out, anything that is like far fetched, yeah. like up there, you don't mind how much it's going to cost. I know you're well, getting that gotta, stuff. Gotta go for the best, bro. Exactly. Which I, I don't blame you for it. You know, everybody but have their own time. Things. Yeah, there was a time we couldn't get all these things. So. Exactly. And being an eye beast is like a blessing, like for real. It got, it got, downside. It got downside too, bro. You know, because if, <laughs> if my family know how much I've actually spent on, you know, sneaker in general. But although I'm actually monetizing it and, uh, doing my own my own uh, business and other stuff too so it's not just it's not just like me um, loving sneakers and not making money from it you know i'm actually doing uh you know my own side hustle and everything with you know regarding to fashion yeah, so, yeah. yeah so do you have your own clothing line no i don't have my own clothing line but i'm actually working on it right now okay, and, uh, okay so and, uh, the name uh, i can actually mention it here uh, the name okay. is actually gonna be uh should I mention it? I really it's up know. to you, bro. <laughs> it's up to you. If you any anything that you feel comfortable with, you can 
dug deep into it because this is real soap podcast. So I know, it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be called a uh, psycho institution. So psycho place, institution. Yeah, so it's a place where you know fashion is crazy. So whatever whatever you see, it's what you know. A lot of minds have actually put you know work and everything into it. So yeah, psycho. I institution. like that name. Yeah, yeah, because fashion is about. Let's be honest, fashion is about experiment, and experiment can be crazy sometimes. So that is a good name, bro. I won't lie to you. That's that that is a good name. And now that you said you're from Nigeria, also, let's look into the Nigeria culture, right? Yeah. What do you think can actually improve the culture and can push the culture forward? Like, I won't lie, Afrobeat is really putting Nigeria in some, you know, some rooms and some places. And we're getting, you know, we're getting, how would I say, more poppy. Like, Afrobeat have been, have been here for so while now, but now it's like, it's the, it's the, it's the number one music general that people are really, you know, looking up to. So let's say Afrobeat aside. Let's talk about sneaker, like sneaker heads in Nigeria, sneaker culture in Nigeria. What do you think are the things that they can do to improve the culture? As Nigerians, uh, we can actually do in Nigeria to improve the culture. First of all, you know, uh, we gotta like know that uh, wearing fakes, it's it's not ideal, honestly. You know, I understand everybody wants to look good, but. It's better for you to wear Zara than to be in fake Gucci, honestly. You know, so because whatever you do, let's say you have a business or anything and people are actually uh, having copies of it, uh, that's uh, that's illegal, you know. And in places, uh, a lot of countries uh, in Europe, if you are seen wearing fake Gucci and all that stuff, you can actually be jailed. You know, I understand uh, in Nigeria, people say, oh, buy whatever you can afford. But for us to actually propel forward in the fashion industry, um, I'm, when I was younger, I actually used to call people out for wearing fakes, but as you, as you get I older, still, you I, I still do that, bro. I still do that because, <laughs> yeah. because I see no reason for people to wear fakes. And you want to ask me why? Bro, I'm actually with you, but sure, why? <laughs> True. Because if you go to my Instagram right now, I literally show shoes that are Nike, Adidas, Crocs, various brands that is below 100 100 I, I have that series i have shoes that i got for 20 dollars bro original i have shoes that i got for 30 dollars so if you're copying fake for 200 dollars what sense does that make when you can actually get an authentic shoe for like you know below but i get it like everybody want to feel among like everyone of everybody want to feel like oh i have this stuff but if it's fake you're only deceiving yourself you don't have this stuff because That's the true. people that have the real one knows this the real one. So it doesn't matter how you want to fake it. Fake is fake. You know? And when it comes to Nigeria culture, I just think we, we need to start from we need to start from, you know, from those cheap brand first to go up. Because this American sneaker culture, they started from somewhere too. Air Jordan wasn't like, oh, Air Jordan, Air Jordan. No. They, Air Jordan was expensive when it came out, you know. People can't afford it. What did they do? They went with dunks because dunks were cheaper. You, you see that? So I just think that's what Nigeria, Nigeria also needs to embody when it comes to, to the sneaker culture. That's for that. Second, right, we have all these Nike, Adidas, Puma, all these brands, right? I would like to you. They're really looking down on our influencers and what did i mean by that bro it's because your life is private right if you don't want to keep your life private i bet you you can get endorsed by nike or adidas or anything because your collection is crazy there are some there are some americans out here there are some people out here that they don't even have have half of your collection bro they have their own signature shoes right yeah but you decide to keep your life private, you know, and all that. So, exactly. But when it comes to all these Afrobeat artists, right, they're making wave. We have likes of Rema, Ashake, and so on and so forth, right? The other day I saw Rema posting an Air Jordan 1, 
and I've said this before, like they need to have their own signature shoe too, because these brands are really looking down on them. That's the way that's part of what can push the Nigerian sneaker culture forward. Right now, even whiskey doesn't have his own sneaker culture uh uh shoe line. David Do, the one he did the other day with Puma, they didn't tell any story about about the sneakers. If they have told story about it and his hype, then we have people like you. We want to cop the shoe because it's hot. What happened from there? It promote people that look up to you, people that look up to you like, oh, whatever this uh, supreme leader get, I'm also getting it. That's how it's going. But it wasn't cool. So everybody just pass it. And that way, the sneaker culture can go forward. But that's another story because you're literally not in Nigeria right now. You are elsewhere, which is very easy for you to cop sneakers, right? So you said you're starting your uh, clothing brand, right? If you know, because all these cloth, um, all these, uh, what will I call it? All these brands, at the end of the day, they end up collaborating with like a brand, like skate shop, you know, all the stuff like right that. You starting a clothing brand. My question to you now is like, do you see, do you ever see yourself like? creating your own silhouette like your own shoe uh honestly uh i'm not really i'm not really seeing myself creating my own silhouette uh because if i must create my own silhouette uh, i really prefer to work with people who are already there uh, just like what travis scott is doing you know with uh mm -hmm. the jordan ones you know so me creating my own silhouette out of nothing i don't know honestly you know if people are going to want to fuck with the new design you know, so if I'm being, you know, like honest, the business side of it, I wouldn't want to create my own silhouette. You know, I'd rather just have a collab. Um, let's say I'm having a collab with uh, uh, Nike and I want to work on uh, something like the Della So Dong, you know, something like that, for instance, you know, and it's something with story, you know, how 2014, my older brother, you know, he gave me, yeah, he gave me the, uh, the very first, the very first time I actually wore uh, my, my uh, it's not my, my own Jordans, though. The very first time I ever wore Jordans was 2014, and it was my old brother who, who actually got Pass it the, down to you. Yeah, yeah. So, and honestly, it was actually fake, if I'm being honest, you know. But I really loved right. that. It was, uh, it was the OG bread, you know, and uh, it was really, it was beautiful. Ever since I saw that sneaker, I told myself, you know, um, I'm really... That was the one way, that was the one way road for you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I had to get myself the OG bread 2019 when it came out, because it actually reminded me, you know, of where I'm actually coming from because there was a time you know um, you didn't even have up to four five pair of shoes you know you got to rotate everything so I'm really That's grateful like, for that, you know? that, that, so that. If, I, if, I, if I'm to work on something I'm actually gonna do maybe not a dunk a Jordan 4 you know the Jordan 4 is gonna be inspired by 2014 you know my journey and everything regarding to you know sneakers fashion in general yeah, so, just personal storytelling with the sneakers. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. That that's dope. That's dope. I don't lie to you. That's dope. Like you said, I already know you're a Nike boy because you kept saying Nike. You kept saying Travis Scott. You are already yeah. Nike boy. So right. I'm gonna take out Nike out of the conversation. If a brand come to meet you and be like, Supreme Leader, we wanna work with you. Just pick one of our, you know, silhouette. And let's collab. And the brands are Adidas, Puma, Asics, Reebok, and Solomon. Which one are you gonna go for? Um, honestly, <laughs> there's one brand you didn't include, and that's the brand. I'm actually, I'm you actually. You can include it. Okay, I'm actually a huge fan of Kanye West and everything he has been doing, you know. Honestly, I don't fuck with Adidas, but because of Kanye, I actually bought my uh, very first Yeezy, you know, and that's what the hype can actually cost. So uh, if I'm to work with any brand, honestly, uh, it would be Skechers. Skechers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, real exactly. one. I really want to, I, I, I want to bring Skechers back to, you know, because there was actually a time, uh, most times I just sit and i do research there was a time in america where everybody was wearing sketches they you still know, do honestly, you know sketches and even new balance i know new balance is on the you know it's, it's on the map because yeah. of uh 
the likes of what's his name? Joe Fresh Good, Joe FG and uh Saleh Bamberry, all those so many of them, you know, they're mm -hmm. doing great works with New Balance. But if I can actually do something, uh it would actually be um sketches and I could actually work with Dr. Martins too, because I really like the the, the, the style, boots. the silhouette of the, the, the shoe. So yeah. That's not that that's not bad. That's not bad. I I actually didn't see that coming because Skechers is one of the most comfortable, you know, sneakers. Yeah. So that's not a bad take. That's not a bad take. That that proves like you really seeing the vision. You're not just about the hype. Because for you to pick Skechers, that means you have a vision. Yeah. You know, because hype actually dies sometimes. You know, exactly, exactly, hype. exactly. And you already have you you already have like the cool factor, so you can change you can change you can change the company for for better yeah, so that's yeah that's 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 good so, try my best. okay so aside from jordan nike adidas yeezy all the what other sneakers do you have in your collection oh i have lanvan uh like no, no like let's talk about like street sneakers like normal uh athletic brand not luxury sneakers oh uh, okay you, okay uh, athletic brands uh, i have new balances okay uh, uh, yeah i had uh, like two new balances before but i gave one out so now i just have one new balance uh it's the 550. if you can actually see it it's uh it's right there okay yeah the the new balance 550 black and white and uh that's actually uh one of the that's the only pair yeah, that's the. <laughs> you said no luck. I catch, I caught you, bro. <laughs> I can't mention Gucci or any other sneakers. So I, yeah, I, I, I knew, I, I knew that. I knew it's just good. To be honest, I predicted like I was like you, you probably like three or two, but like you said, it was just two. So yeah, that that's that's good. So bro, like you said, you're creating a clothing brand, which is gonna be like a big, you know a big leap a big project for you because yeah. you want to put your all in do you like are you are you going to start like a pop-up like going to different countries or you want it to be like a local like a local thing first before you you make it what, blow? what, what i actually want to do i want a local uh, skateboarding shop you know uh, so it's okay be something like that so because when you're a skateboarding shop you can actually work with nikes when it comes to the sb dongs you know yeah you don't even like, have to be a skate shop you can be a brand you can just be a brand and work with nike if there's if they like you and they see what you're pushing you can actually have just a store like a shoe store and work with nike yeah but would they be sending you sbs though yeah yeah they will be sending you but it it would be like um what would i call it it will, it's gonna be like uh exclusive sbs like let's say uh sneaker politics for example is not a skate shop is a sneaker that is true yeah you know they send them sb concept started as a store it didn't even start as a skate shop and look at what concept is doing right now doing amazing bro exactly I so I call them sometimes yeah yeah so that's it you can because a lot of people used to have that mentality like oh before i can get uh skate like a sb shoes i have to be a skate shop no you can uh, be, yeah, you can be like a regular store. You can be like a regular store and get it. Like, we don't have exclusive stuff like that in Nigeria. And, I mean, the whole South Africa have it. I think Ghana are having it right now. So, it's like Nigeria is just trying to catch up, you know. So, my, 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 my final question to you is like, what do you think about the Nocta shoe, the Drake shoe? Uh, honestly, I've got mixed feelings about the Drake collab because um, I do like um, the OVO on its own, mm -hmm. but the Nocta, I'm not really a huge fan. But I, honestly, I like the the Air Force One. The I think the, the certified uh, overboard. Yes, yeah, so I like the Air Force uh, the Air Force One. It's it's really uh, it's unique. Uh, sometimes only Drake knows what Drake does. does so, yeah. <laughs> because the I think the yellow, what is it called? Uh, the the skin, the skin, uh, the, the skin jacket skin. and everything. Yeah, the skin jackets and everything that Drake uh, did, I really didn't feel it honestly. So that's why I didn't get any. But the the OVO uh, brand itself, I I fuck with it. I really like what Drake has done, you know. But the Nocta collab, I'm not I'm not a huge fan. You're not feeling it. 
Like, I think that is how everybody is. Like, if you can say you're not, you're not feeling it, that's like 80% of people are not feeling it. Because, like I said, you get, you, you be getting a lot of cool stuff. So for you to say, like, you're not really feeling it, 80% of people are not feeling it. And that's why it's sitting. Like, most of the shoe retail for 180 You can easily get it for, like, $80 right now. It doesn't have no value. And I see you like someone that collects shoes that add value. Most of yeah. your shoe that you got, it, it can never go below it too. It, it will keep appreciating because you just don't look your sneakers as shoe. You look them as an investment too, right? That, I, I, got, I got some shoes that I kept DS, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, I told myself that maybe in the long run, this, this is going to be a... Uh, you know, hand me down. Hand me down. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, yeah, true, true, true. We got. I'll be doing the same thing. We got to survive. We will be doubling up. Like if you if you can get five, if you can get six, it's yeah, welcome. So, yeah. So some some shoes they're just the modern shoes actually, but because once once they're gone, once they're sold out, I mean you it's can't get it, to get it back. There's actually there's a sneaker that I have in my shelf right now that. It's not it's not available on goats or on stock X. My size do, you know. And uh every other size they got it, but nine point five, size forty three is actually the most uh, the most uh, rarest uh size nice. to get a pair. So and I got that pair like uh two two years ago. What was the, the, the name price, of the shoe? It's uh the military green, the Jordan one. Okay. The, the price the price has see uh, it has since jumped uh by I think up to one twenty one twenty percent. You know, so it's really crazy. I well, can tell I you keep. I can I can tell you treat your sneakers as stocks, and you keep in track of everything. Yeah, I mean, you didn't disclose your location, which is understandable. But is where you are. Is it easy for you to you know to get to get sneakers? Like if there's like a drop, because I see you be sharing some drops with me. Like oh, you went you went for this. You you went for that. But how often do you eat for retail? Uh, honestly, uh, I really haven't had much luck lately. But last year, I hit like a couple retail, uh, some really hype stuff, you know. Uh, the only time I ever won a raffle was uh, the the Lightnings. The Lightning, the lightning Force. Force. Yeah, and it wasn't even my size. It was the toddler size. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so I, I hit like two raffles for toddler sizes because I'll be buying shoes even for babies. I, I know, know you and you got, you got, yeah. <laughs> you got to like start early. Yeah, yeah. And that's one thing I, I, that's one thing like I appreciate you for, like I admire you for because you have your whole family into the culture. That, is that yes, that is not something everybody do. Everybody like most people just want to be cool among like among the family. Like yeah, I'm the one. I'm the only cool cat. But you bring all your family into the culture, which I like and I love. So Thank you, bro. That, that 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 that's a good thing. And you keep educating as much as you can. Like you said, you're researching about shoes. I I I can never I can never predict that you 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 go for sketches. You know, to to to, to work with sketches. That means you're doing your research. You yeah, see, actually do a lot of a lot of research. Yeah, also. yeah. You, you are not just buying sneakers. You're doing your research. You're educating yourself, and that's that's just the culture. And I appreciate you doing this with me. Like, is there any question? Is there any thing you want to ask me, or you just want to put? Yeah, I, I, there's there's something I want to know, bro. Uh, okay, bro. How how easy or how difficult would it be to actually break into the US market uh as of right now if you're an upcoming brand? Okay. To break into US market right now, I won't lie to you, bro. If as an upcoming brand is easy. And at the same time it's hard. So let me tell you why it's easy, right? It's easy if you don't make things complicated. Like, it's easy if you are genuine. Like you said, you want to tell your story with your brand, right? Yeah. Americans love storytelling. They want to know you. They want to know what makes you start up the brand. You know? They, and if to break through into the market, America is a land of everybody. 
you're gonna see Jamaica, you're gonna see Haiti, you're gonna see Asia, you're gonna see Nigeria, you're gonna is a land of everybody, right? So it's easy to break through because either way, any story you tell is gonna relate to everybody in America because at the end of the day, most people that owe this country are immigrant, and what I mean is people from elsewhere. So it's easy to break through. So the other part that I said is hard is when you're trying to complicate it. Oh, this is my brand. Uh, the price is ridiculous to begin with. No storytelling to back it up. You know, yeah. because you don't even have to be in America to sell your to sell your merch or brand to America right now. Everything is online. You know, all this online marketing stuff that you can easily shift stuff to America and let your brand know. They are market strategics or whatever they call them that you can set up a pop-up shop here in America without you even being there. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, so, I, saw, I saw this um, this brand. Uh, oh, I forgot the name. This, this brand in Nigeria, the one owned by... Um, this Nigerian guy. Are you talking about uh Ashlocks. fashion? No, no, Ashlocks. I, I saw Ashlocks. Ashlocks. Yeah, he, he had a pop-up uh, in London the other time, and uh, that was really cool. Was yeah, he so, there? Yeah, I think he was there. Okay. I think he was there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've actually been researching about pop-ups, and it's it's a nice way also to get known. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. If you if you if you want to set up the brand, like. I'm down for you, bro. Anything you need from me, just let me know. Any ideas that I can share, any tips, any, you know, any how I can make it go forward, I'll let you know, bro. Like, to set up a brand, to be honest, the brand is not, to be honest, the brand doesn't matter. It's the community. If the community is dope, the brand is dope. That's it. If if you can, if you can speak to Sari community and they love, you know what your the story you're trying to tell the brand is gone anything you put on the shell or whatever is gone and if the material is quality that's a plus for you bro and if the price is reasonable that's additional plus for you yeah. you know so that's how it is like you mentioned ashlocks ashlocks let's start with ashlocks right he started selling luxurious stuff and he, he introduced his brand and it was known in Africa. It was known local from Nigeria to Africa. What do you like, bro? These are the steps you also need to take because you need to be going to all these fashion shows, linking with people. You that wanna is... travel. You your life is private. Your life won't be private no more. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. If you wanna be the face of the brand, if you wanna let people know that okay, I'm the CEO. They have to know the story. Like you just told me the idea of the brand. Like, oh, it's crazy stuff. They want to know what's crazy about it. Me, I know you, right? I know you buy stuff. You, 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 you are Ibis. You, you got a lot of luxurious stuff, right? But the world and the other people that are trying to buy your brand, they don't really know you like that. That's true. To be honest with you, if you set up a brand, right? Your first step is just gonna be like uh, Joe Freshgood. Go, yeah, go, fuck, go, go Fresh learn Good. about Joe Freshgood. He, that's his your, new that's, balance. His new balance collab is really sick. Because he started off as a cool guy. He buy Jordans. He wear. He's just like you. He, he's an eye beast. He buy everything, you know. And he was in Chicago and he set up. He set up a brand. And what 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 made everything kick off? Storytelling. It was the storytelling that make everything kick off for him. That's it, bro. So I believe in you. You can set up the brand if you want to set up. You just have to, like, you just keep, yeah, just keep educating yourself and doing the research. And money, don't even think about money. Because a lot of people think, like, oh, if I want to have a brand, I have to have so, so, so money. Money is least of the problem of a brand. Money is least of the problem because... Now we are living in a, in, a, in a generation that you can literally sell your you can you can literally sell shirt without having a penny. Let me tell you how they get it done. You advertise your brand, they go to the website, they order the shirt. You don't even have the shirt with you. 
is when they order it, they're going to print everything and send it to order it, and they share, they, they send you your own cut without you seeing the physical, the physical product, your physical product. You already sell off, you already yeah. sell off a t-shirt. That's like drop shipping. That's like drop shipping. A lot of people are doing it, but they don't know because most people also order their own merch. But you think that oh, they they just print it. There's actually a lot of money in drop shipping, honestly. You know, but you got to drop ship the right way. Like I said, it, it, there's many ways to it. So, bro, I really enjoy you know having this conversation with you. Yeah, me too, man. Me this is the fourth. This is the fourth episode. I'm deb I'm debuting this uh, podcast July 16th. It's gonna be out July 16th. Like I, I'll start off. I already did the intro. You know, I'm just working with everybody, anybody that wanna work. And I'm glad you up up on the podcast. You know, to talk about your brand even sneakers i appreciate that because you just gave me your time which is time 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 is the most valuable stuff is valuable is valuable than money so yeah. i appreciate that my bro and thank you for doing this with me it's really nice having this uh podcast and this conversation so uh, i appreciate bro thanks bro thanks bro and i i, I want to ask more stuff but i don't want to waste your time no, so. no, sure. go ahead go ahead I, I already know that you, you you do collect SB Dunks and Air Jordans and all that. What do you think about the recent drop of the Mac Attack? Uh, honestly, I'm not feeling it. You know, because uh, you don't know about it, right? Yeah, you know, Good. You just, I, I think it's always difficult for you to accept new new things. You know, new new trends. Especially, yeah, especially if you don't understand it. So I don't fuck with things I don't understand. Mm. You know, and uh, I really am not feeling it. That's why, if I was feeling it, uh, it would actually be on the shelf. Okay, I mean that's what I want to use to close the the podcast. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a shot now. If the shoe is going for like four thousand, will you go for it? Uh, <laughs> 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 that's a tough one. <laughs> no, I can actually go for it, but I'll, I'll then you start feeling it. No, no, if I if I go for it, because honestly, I, I wasn't feeling it initially. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll just keep it on the shelf and, you know, let it be, be DS. Let it add value. You know, so uh, whenever whenever I see that uh, the the markup price is actually crazy and you know I'm okay to sell, you let it go. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. That that's that's. That's a wise move and that's a smart move. I would do the same thing if I'm in your shoes. So, yeah, that was my last question, bro. I appreciate yeah, you. Man. Thank you for doing this for yeah, me. And I hope I wish you nothing but the best and success with your with your upcoming brand. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, yeah, stay safe, bro.